two years ago, I made a chicken shawarma recipe. But did you also know you can use that same marinade to make beef shawarma? And no, you're not going to use it to make pork shawarma. I think the Muslim community suffered enough. So, what type of meat should we use for our beef shawarma? This stuff. This stuff right here. Flat meat. It's also called skirt steak, but a certain pop star interpreted it too literally. As you see, it has a perfect mixture of fat and meat, which makes it perfect for our beef shawarma. You make it easier to... Now, depending on what store you go to, you might have to chop these into smaller pieces to make them easier to handle. But thankfully... Mine came from the store just like this, so there's no need to. So, I'm going to put this aside, and we're going to get straight to the marinade. Now, just like the last time I made chicken shawarma, the marinade... has a freaking butt ton of ingredients. If that doesn't look like a lot, let's switch to the overhead angle. Yeah, that's a lot. And if I was to list all of these one by one, I'd be here all night. Thankfully, I found a much better way to list these ingredients. And now your beef shawarma marinade recipe, right here on Chase Cutting Kitchen. RJ turned on his main camera, but forgot to hit record. As a result, the next segment will be voiced over by him. Ah oh man, if they used smooth jazz more often, we probably wouldn't have so much global warming denialism. Anyway, enough politics, let's mix our ingredients together. Once the marinade is to your liking, grab two and a half pounds of skirt steak and place them in the bowl. Once they're in, using your hands, cover everything in the marinade. Make sure you get every nook and cranny. All right, next step, after you put on the marinade, using a pair of tongs, transfer our meat to a gallon size zip top bag. We're doing this for two reasons. One, I don't have enough room in my fridge. Two, the recipe contains turmeric and that has a bad habit of staining anything plastic. And once that's done, stick it in the fridge and let it marinate overnight. Okay, it's the next day. Our meat is fully marinated and I actually happened to hook up the microphone to the camera this time. Now for the best flavor experience, I recommend cooking your beef here on the grill. I want to taste that flame for that extra authentic shawarma flavor. Okay, let's turn on the grill. All right, let that heat up. Grill's nice and hot. The zip tog bag melted, that should have been the obvious sign. So let's place our meat right on the heat. All right, let that cook for a few minutes. Okay, after eh, five to seven minutes, let's flip our meat over. And let that cook for another five minutes. Okay, after a few minutes, we got some char on the other side. That means it's done, so let's move this to a wooden cutting board. All right, now I better bring everything inside before the cameras catch fire. All right, our meat has finished resting. Let's cut her up. All right, next up, grab a pita, rip it open like this. Place our steak on here. Let's add some red onions, some diced tomato, 
some tahini, and my favorite, taum, the Lebanese garlic sauce. Wrap it up and dig right in. And I know this is hurrah, but I know the perfect drink to go with this. Beer. Trust me, when Baba isn't looking, try some for warmer with some beer. Best combination ever. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and support me on Patreon. Oh my God, I really hope. God, don't please don't be overheating. Oh God, I really hope the thing isn't overheating again, is it?